Coastal Carolina has won two of the previous three meetings against Furman. This week, the Chanticleers are the road team. The road team has never won a game in this series. And Coastal Carolina is 5-7 and seven against Southern Conference teams. Furman is a good football team. Furman is a better team than A&T. Uh, you know, we got to play well, but that's our job. You know, so if we can improve... We've got to be able to improve our mistakes from last week. We've got to improve. We can't have 70-something yards penalty. We can't do that. We just cannot do that. We can't give up those big plays on defense, and we've got to be a little bit more consistent in the kicking game. Quarterback Aramis Hillary threw for a career-high 272 yards in CCU's season-opening win against North Carolina A&T. The Coastal players know that Furman will be hungry after losing on week one. So they got a winning tradition, and we want to we want to uh, bring that winning tradition to the coast of Carolina. So uh, you know it's going to be huge for us. Uh, looking forward, you know, down the road in the future, if we can start to progress as the you know the one the one double A powerhouse in the state. So I think it is a pretty big rival. Meanwhile, on the defensive side of the ball, Coastal will be facing former Conway High quarterback Dakota Derrick. He definitely he he knows the system well. He runs that that option sweep. He runs that pretty well. He gets. He helps the running backs get on the outside of the edges. And, and I think after, you know what I'm saying, seeing how we, we were a little weak on our edges this past week, I think maybe they'll attack our edges a little bit. So that's a little bit of his strength. Coastal beat Furman 30-23 to in Conway last year. Kickoff is set for Saturday afternoon at 5 o'clock at Paladin Stadium in Greenville. Mark Haggard, News Channel 15 Sports.